like clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Reaming my body. Clothing no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your session. Yo, what is going on, everyone? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be basically talking about how to avoid burnout while you're grinding in Fortnite. I know so many of you guys are just grinding consistently and you're getting tired and you some days you don't even want to get on anymore. So basically in today's video, I'm going to be talking about, like I said, how to avoid burnout. And if you don't know what burnout is, it's basically when you just grind so much and play so consistently, whether it's a sport, uh, just work on school so much, or Fortnite, for example, that you just don't feel like you want to do it anymore. You don't want to practice anymore. You feel like you're tired when you get on. You feel like you're bored when you get on. So basically, hopefully these tips will help you guys out. If you're looking forward to this video, make sure you slap a like button on it. Comment what you want to see for a future video. Hit that subscribe button. Use creator code WraithFN in the item shop. And let's get right into the video. So the first tip I'm going to give you guys, this may not directly relate to all of you, but I'm feeling a lot of you guys probably have like a specific practice routine. So basically what the suggestion is, is kind of switch up your routine. So for example, if you hop on and you play, I don't know, like let's say you warm up for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you hop into some solos, make sure everything is going good, do some box fights send arena a little bit and then maybe send some customs well maybe try and switch things up just so you kind of don't get in the groove of just doing the same thing every single day so it just becomes repetitive maybe i don't know when you first get on do instantly do some box fights with your buddies maybe do different people than you normally box fight. like if you always box fight this one friend maybe find someone on discord or even box fight someone you don't normally box fight or something like that um, instead of maybe, I don't know, playing solos after, just go into zone wars when someone's hosting zone wars. Or maybe do, I don't know, whatever you guys want to do, some solo squads, right? Just don't try and do the same thing every single day. Like, don't get me wrong, having a routine is really, really good. But over the long period of time, it unfortunately creates burnout from what I've experienced and what I know a lot of people experience. So if you start to feel like you're getting tired of doing the same thing over and over, just switch up your routine and kind of mix things around and do different things. Now this next step is probably the most important one in this video in my opinion. And it's taking a break and kind of looking back at what you're doing and kind of figuring out if you're doing everything right if you're doing everything wrong so I know some of you guys might be like well I can't take a break or I can't take a two-day break some people will pass me and they they'll be practicing more right when in reality taking a break if you've been grinding for a long time is actually a lot better as well as it helps you kind of realize what you're doing and make sure everything is going as planned so for example when you take a break like trust me just take one or two days off it will feel better in the long run especially if you're starting to feel a little bit burnt out um pros do it all the time athletes do it all the time uh financial advisors do it all the time like people who just read stocks every day do it all the time taking breaks every once in a while is a really good thing it just helps you reset reboot feel better about yourself feel better about what you're doing and then when you go back in you're going to be amped up you're going to be like okay i haven't played for two days i feel good i feel like i'm going to get a lot done and during that break what i would suggest doing is basically just being like Okay, what, what is my goals? Is my goal to be the best Fortnite player I can be? Is my goal to win World Cup next year? Is my goal to finish top 100 in a tournament? And am I on the right way to doing that? And am I doing whatever I possibly can to do that? So during those two days, just be like, okay, well, maybe I need to, maybe I need to start practicing a little bit more. Maybe I need to start watching people's uh, games a little bit more to help my IQ. Um, do I still really want to do this, etc., etc.? So just take a minute, take a day or two off, and just think about it and make sure you're, everything is going the way you want. So now my next tip is a really good one as well, and it's basically focus on improving a specific thing. And this kind of is similar to the routine where during a routine, you're trying to like improve everything, right? You're trying to improve your aiming when you're warming up, you're building when you're warming up, uh, you're trying to improve your solo uh, like movement by playing customs, you're trying to improve your W key and fighting when playing arena or box fighting, etc, etc, right? So you're generally trying to improve on an overall basis of your entire like play style. But basically what I suggest doing is once you kind of feel like a burnout's coming or you kind of feel tired, like I said, is basically focus on one form of improvement. 
right? So basically what that does is it makes you just geared towards fixing that one thing and then you're going to be focused on it. You're not just going to be like going through the motions of trying to improve overall. You're going to be focused on improving that one thing. You're going to be grinding that one thing. And then once you accomplish and you've done it, you're going to feel way better. And then you're going to be like, you know what? I feel good. Like, I feel like I can do this. I know I'm getting better now. And like I said, if you feel like you're not getting better, you've kind of plateaued and you feel like a burnout's coming, doing this will help you kind of feel better about yourself, your gameplay, and be like, okay, you know what, I can do that. So for example, if you feel like your aim's absolutely terrible, go literally spend the next three or four days, like I said, taking a break is good, but taking a break from overall grinding and just grinding something else is also just as good. And um, I don't know, like I said, play Kovacs for four days, which I'll talk about later or play aim trainers for four days, or play strictly box fights for four days to practice your close range fighting, or your close range aim. If you feel like your editing suck, sucks, literally just do edit courses for an hour, take up a little bit of a break, go on your phone, whatever, come back, do edit courses for an hour, do free builds while you're editing your free builds. Like just practice a specific thing. If you struggle with side jumps, or you struggle with 1v1s do that specific thing for the next couple days and overall it will actually help you obviously improve a lot more because you're working on what needs improvement and that will just help your overall gameplay as well as like i said you will feel really good after you're done which will help you just get to that next level because you're like you know what i can easily do this i can become a better player i already got better in my aim i know i can do that with the rest of my game so now my next tip is like i said is like had to do with Kovacs is basically spend some time practicing external things. So now what I mean about that is a lot of people will just, like I said, have a routine, grind through stuff and then get bored. So what you can do to kind of stop that and still improve at the same time is take some time off from the specific game and actually improve in other ways. So what I mean about that is one would be play Kovacs. So it's not really you're playing Fortnite, you're playing a different game and you're still improving obviously in Fortnite. If you're a controller, obviously you can't really do that. Um, but if you're on keyboard and mouse, like play Kovacs or play Osu or something like that, or Aimtastic, something like that, um, that can help you improve overall, except you're not really playing Fortnite, so you might not get burnt out as easily. And you can just watch Netflix while you're playing, you can go on your phone and watch YouTube while you're playing, and you will actually still be improving while you're not playing Fortnite. Another thing you can do, and this is a big one, is VOD review. So yeah, you're not playing the game, and you might be like, well, I'm not really improving, like I'm wasting time. Well, no, you're not, right? Like you're improving your game IQ by watching pro players or watching over your own VODs. And if you spend three, four days, or two days, or even three hours a day, instead of like, let's say you can play Fortnite for two hours a day, and you, instead of playing for just the strict two hours, you spend an hour playing the game and an hour VOD reviewing, you're going to see a good improvement in just your overall IQ, rotations, and how you take on fights because you're going to be watching players like Benji, Macon, Arkham, uh, Mongrel, whoever it is, Booga, right? And you're going to realize what they do in fights and then you can implement it in your own gameplay. Not only is it entertaining to watch pro players, but it also helps you and it helps avoid burnout. So now my last tip, and this is a really, really good one as well, and it's kind of tied in with improving a specific thing, and it's trying to beat your records or create new records. So again, this is a really good way to help improve, even if you feel like you're burning out, and trust me, it will help you. And basically, it's trying to beat your records, like I said. So for example, if your kill record is, I don't know, let's say 14, or let's say 10, or even 15 or 20, whatever your kill record is, right? Go into solos and just play until you beat it. Like, I, it's, it sounds pretty easy, but it'll help you have fun. You'll have a challenge. So like I said, kind of similar to improving that specific thing. Once you accomplish it, you're going to feel way better about yourself. You're going to feel like you can do anything. You can get better in any form of the game. And let's say your kill record's 20, right? Pretty good kill record, pretty hard to beat. Even if you can't beat it, it's no big deal, but still grinding towards that goal and trying to achieve something close range and short term, well, you're going to feel better and you're going to feel less burnout because you're actually grinding towards something. If it's something like eight or nine, if you play solos for four or five days of just straight W key and practicing getting kills, eventually or hopefully you're going to beat that kill record. If you don't, again, no big deal. You just know you need to practice a little bit more, get better, right? So having a goal to beat is just so good for short term satisfaction as well as kind of beating through that kind of burnout, whatever, right? 
another th goal you can do is i don't know for example how fast you can crank to height right like if you if you build 90 straight up in a creative map and you time it and say okay let's get i don't know 30 seconds for example right just trying to beat that over over again yeah again you'll feel that short-term satisfaction of beating your goal you know you can get better as well as you're improving your 90s and you're improving your building ability right or i don't know another goal would be how many box fights can you win in a row right even if it's only two box fights you've won in a row against some random kids off discord maybe try and get three if you've won 10 games in a row off kids off discord maybe get 15 right just beating your own goals will help you feel so much better about yourself your potential and what you can do as a fortnite player so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you slap a like button on it comment what you want to see for a future video hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys all in the next video have a good one guys Thank you.